In today's video, we take a look at a man who refuses to pay for her date's drinks, and she goes into a meltdown, and this woman here who won't pay any rent for her boyfriend's house. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. Am I the a-hole for refusing to pay rent toward my boyfriend's mortgage if I move in with him? My boyfriend, 33 male, and I, 29 female, have been dating for three years. He owns a house and lives there by himself. I live in an apartment by myself. We talked about moving in together as that's the logical next step in our relationship, and we both want to do it. But I have some hang-ups related to moving into a house that I don't have any stake in. I'm refusing to pay any money that would go directly towards his mortgage. Why? I don't have any stake in the house. Why would I contribute to his mortgage payments? Um, I don't know, because you'd be contributing to your landlord's mortgage payments. Anyway, I'm okay helping with utilities, groceries, household items, etc. But paying his mortgage is a hard no from me. I just don't think it makes any sense for me to pay toward his mortgage when I would get nothing from it if we break up. I told him the only way I would pay money for rent is if he signs a contract with me stating that any money I paid toward his mortgage will be paid back to me by him in the event that we break Oh my God, your landlord is not going to do that. You don't get a refund when you move out. He's refusing to sign anything like that because in his words, I could break up with him for no reason and then take him to court for thousands of dollars. If we just switch the roles here and a guy is the one moving in with a girl, then she would absolutely expect him to contribute towards the rent. And also, if there are having such disagreements after just moving in with each other, then it is for the best that they should just break up. And next we see a girl having a meltdown because her man won't buy her a drink. Great days ago. Oh, y'all on Devil Huggy Devil before? Mm -hmm. No. Just look how she is right now. One moment she's good, the next she's not. One day she's here, she never came here before. Well, one day she came here. Yeah, that's what she said. She's not been here before. Then she said she just been here three days ago. You know what she told me? I, I gotta work on she's her. She's like, my daughter's all alone, blah, blah. She's like, I don't have no kids. Like, bro. Your yeah, daughter's home alone, but you, you in a nightclub? You in a club? I do. Anything that comes from there, we know it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. we wait, we wait, no, no, no. Creating such a public scene because he won't buy a drink for you is a level of drama which nobody would want to comprehend with. She should practice a bit of self-control instead of embarrassing herself, like this guy here, who shows what it looks like. want to see you goodbye what's the best way to get a free drink at the bar turn your ring around and hide the diamond i mean coming from the bride herself I mean, she must know the vibes I just go like this hide it it's gone but it works i'm sure her husband is really happy to hear that one she belongs to the streets and these are the type of women who after getting married cheat on their spouse and then blame them for it because they just can't limit their expectations as they absolutely lack a thing called accountability which only sets them for failure as called by this woman here a matchmaker, a dating coach, and host of Dear Matchmaker podcast, and I'm going to share something that just happened recently with my matchmaking client in which I'm trying to help him find matches, and I got this correspondence from her. She says, in my dating experience, I'm seldom attracted to anyone under 5 foot 10. Even then, I'm bending, but understand it's an average height and I'm okay with it. So... First off, five foot ten is not the average height of a man. Second, she's five foot four. She's already eliminating a good majority of the dating pool. And then to top it all off, he needs to be into you. To me, they have set themselves up for complete failure, complete impossibilities due to these ridiculous metrics that they have put on what they are seeking in a potential partner. Is he compassionate? Is he kind? Is he empathetic? Is he understanding? Is he the type of man who's willing to be there, your ultimate cheerleader, to be able to support you and encourage you? And, and does he have passions and goals and dreams? All these kinds of things. But no, is he six feet? Please. I'm actually quite surprised that she did not mention that he should also make at least six figures as well. But as this woman said, only focusing on the physical attributes and not looking at the whole package is only going to end in one way. And unfortunately for women like her, it isn't looking good. 
women are feminists today and expect I am not a feminist. I will I am not a feminist. I, at all. But I will say a man should fucking pay on a first date. And all the rest of the day. But it's a man's job. We birth babies. You know what it does to us? Fuck that. You should pay for fucking dinner. Boy, that escalated quickly. So why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially, it just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Alistair, I feel like I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but <laughs> you approach her if you see her out. Um, I'm respectable to everyone. I give everyone a chance to get to know you, sit down, have a conversation, let you know my goals in life, and ask you your goals in life. And if we do match, we take it further from there. I think, did I get everyone back here? Oh, 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 okay. We do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi and I'm 27. Hey, Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Oh, nice. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Like, as I like kind of walked, it was like, kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut. Mm. And then the chap lips. Yeah, okay. it's kind of a okay. thing for me, so, yeah. <laughs> got it, okay. You're a beautiful individual, and I'm thankful for having me out here, and you all are very beautiful. Thank you. I'm a very respectful person. Thank you. And then we did get one last one down here. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just feel like sticking to the code. I don't know, I just feel like I should be sticking to a code right now. Okay. What do you mean by sticking to the code? Just... That's honestly like, you know, I just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot. So, yeah. The way he was unfazed by hearing such stupid arguments on why he was rejected is not only a sign that he is a confident guy, but also proves that men don't care about other people's opinion the same way a woman does and that modern women only want the bad guys, as seen in this clip here. Hold on, you've been together. We're not together anymore. So y'all are exes? Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that exes can be friends? Um, yeah, but no at the same time. If you still have feelings for them, it'll be hard. It's hard. But I don't have feelings no more. <laughs> so why not just go no contact and leave each other alone? We've tried, but it's That's not... That's what we finna do. That's what we we're, finna do. We're trying to. We're gonna go our separate ways pretty soon. And why the relationship end? Because he's a hoe. <laughs> He was going on dating apps and looking for other females while we were together. Why are you even here? Because I'm bored. <laughs> we're having yeah. a good time. Yeah. yeah, I'm just getting drunk and having a good time with her. So you ever think about sleeping with him again? No. <laughs> Stop the cap. If all he does is go to work, come home, lay in bed, scroll on his phone, Overthink his entire life and send memes to the same two friends that he only has. <laughs> My sister. That's husband material. I have Handy Manny at home. <laughs> he, is, he fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. When there is something to be fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash and he Still throws know. out the recycle. Okay. She's really talking about a servant. Let's face it. No. It's a handyman well, she's talking no, about. It's a handy Manny. Oh, it's a handyman with benefits. We do not. Have, well, but, but the things that you're describing, you could pay somebody to do.